We just found their plans. It's unbelievable. And the future hangs in the balance. Do any of you guys experience a small bit of anxiety when you're late for anything? I know I can personally say that, you know, I try to be at least 30 minutes early for most things just so I can be relaxed when a meeting's happening or whatnot. Well, in today's video, we're gonna discuss how President Biden's administration was late and how this won't sit well with a lot of Americans. What's going on, you guys? It is Ron here and welcome back to the channel. Now, before we continue, please drop a thumbs up for the video. I really appreciate that. And also get your free home Home warranty quote link in the description down below never be caught off guard by a very expensive unexpected home repair also even if you're renting get the free home warranty quote give it to your landlord he may give you a discount on your rent and thank you in the future okay guys brian deese one of president joe biden's advisor is in hot water due to a recent interview with cnn's victor blackwell when he was asked what can be said to american families who can't afford the high price of gas today and questioning how much longer americans have to pay his answer shocked a lot of people. This is about the future of the liberal world order, and we have to stand firm. Just for how long are we Americans going to be able to sustain paying for these high premiums? Deese continued to say this, quote, but at the same time, what I would say to that family and Americans across the country is you have a president and an administration that is going to do everything in its power to blunt those price increases and bring those prices down, end quote. Now you can believe that if you want, but in a previous report, President Biden was quoted as saying that we will be stuck with high gas prices as long as it takes. Are these guys not talking to one another? Because they're like, they're contradicting each other. I thought they were on the same team. So the question is, which is it really? Are they still trying to lower gas prices for us? Or is this a necessary sacrifice to win the war? The mixed signals are becoming very hard to read. Something else related also happened last week as the Biden administration failed to meet their own deadline at the end of last month with regards to planning future oil and gas lease sales. John Barrazzo, Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee ranking member said this, quote, President Biden is hell bent on choking off American oil and natural gas production. Now he has failed to follow the law and prepare a final five-year leasing plan by yesterday's deadline. This means the federal government will not offer any new offshore gas lease sales this year, end quote. Now, he continues to say that this is the first time that this has ever happened since 1958 and that the Biden administration is spending its time courting overseas dictators. As we all know, President Biden is slated to visit the Middle East within the middle of this month. Others are speculating that this was done on purpose to hinder providing help to oil and gas companies. But what do you guys think? Was it an oversight? Somebody just forget? Or was this all according to their plan? Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments down below. Now, we all know that President Biden is focusing on green and clean energy, but recent updates from the Supreme Court may make this a little bit more difficult as they have just limited the EPA, also known as the Environmental Protection Agency's authority to set standards on climate change and greenhouse gas emissions for existing power plants. The court ruled that Congress and not the EPA has the power to create a broad system of cap and trade regulations to limit emissions from the existing power plants in a bid to transition away from coal to renewable energy sources. This decision was voted at six to three, said that the EPA did not have the authority under the Clean Air Act to issue regulations for each state to cut down on power plant emissions. According to Representative Bill Seats, who is a key player in the state policy making when it comes to these kind of issues, said that the decision isn't about whether greenhouse gases should be regulated or not. Quote, that's irrelevant to the decision of the court. What the court is simply saying is that Congress needs to provide a clearer direction to the administrative agency before the administrative agency can come up with such a sweeping rule, which suggests that markets ultimately do work in a responsible way. And the folks that are running around like Chicken Little screaming that the sky is falling are plainly incorrect. Because even absent the Obama Clean Power Plan, significant strides were made throughout the United States in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, end quote. This will further make it even more difficult for Biden's green energy agenda as it gives fuel energy providers less of an incentive to make their move towards switching to cleaner energy. But some are making the case that green energy will become cheaper in the future and will cause oil companies to change their methods in order to allow them to compete in the market, which they see to be changing within the next few years. This will be true capitalism if you think about it, where those with the best ideas will flourish just because they're better, compared to being forced to switch to something that isn't even fully prepared yet. Now, more recent news that is still related, the Biden administration did offer an offshore drilling plan, although this one might not have as many back it's a five-year plan for America's coastal waters and risks angering both environmentalists and the fossil fuel industry. 
How do you do that? I mean, it's either one or the other, right? But getting heat from both sides, that's an achievement right there. With the plan, they have closed off the possibility of new leases in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic oceans, but it does open up potential new lease sales in both the Gulf of Mexico and in Cook Inlet in Alaska. The balancing act of scaling back on drilling while trying to keep gas prices down is nothing short of a miracle. It's also allowed critics from the Republicans to blame his climate policies for the high price of gas and for the suffering of millions of Americans that drive every day. Which reminds me that there's still no update on that gas stimulus check that they said that they were going to be discussing. Was all that just talk? Hmm, starting to see a pattern here. Anyway, those from the oil industry, they're arguing that more drilling is needed in the country to lower gas prices. And while President Biden has said at some point that we need to drill more, he's also been accused of limiting supply to the global marketplace. On the other hand, environmental activists are saying that Biden must forbid new drilling due to carbon emissions from oil, gas, and coal climbing. You know what? Let's go back to March of this year and see what President Biden had to say. We have 9,000 permits to drill now. They could be drilling right now, yesterday, last week, last year. And this was during the onset of the war where he warned that gas prices may continue to shoot up. For his credit, he was absolutely right on that one. As the price of commodities and basically everything still hitting the ceiling, are we now expected to receive a fourth stimulus check? I know that a lot of people are pessimistic about it, but no one actually expected a second stimulus check. We may be surprised before the midterm elections, but what do you guys think? Has our situation with gas and commodities become so severe that an additional stimulus check may be put in place to appease Biden's voter base? Or would that just make everything even worse for all Americans? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, I want you guys to remember though, we are not defined by our government or what they implement. We're smart and we're awesome people, you guys. I honestly feel like some of the people in our community can actually do something great for our country if they were given the chance. Any of you guys considering running for office? I wanna thank you guys so much for being there and for always supporting the channel. Now, before I go, please take a second, drop a like for the video. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing. This is Ron and I'll see you guys on the next video. Inflation is only going one direction and that is up. Soaring food prices at the grocery stores, gas prices jumping 20, 30, 50 cents in a day. Oil and gas companies hitting record profits. Inflation has never been this high since 1982, but every little bit helps. For a limited time only, M1 Finance is offering $50 for free when you open up a new brokerage account at M1 Finance. Now, one way that I've found to offset the cost of inflation is to find the companies that are actually paying dividends. They're literally paying you to own their stocks and you no longer need a lot of money to invest. M1 Finance offers fractional share purchases, meaning you can buy a piece of a stock. Just the other day, I placed an order to buy stocks for just a dollar. So there's no more excuses, you guys. The wealthy and big corporations always benefit from inflation. Now we can take advantage of it and get these big, powerful companies to pay us. Make sure to get your free $50 when you open a new account at M1 Finance with as little as a hundred bucks.